Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis Prepper, and in this video we're talking about the Day 24 episode of Praxis Prepper Alien Invasion. We're going to talk about some of the discussion points and the topics brought up in the episode, and at the very end I'm going to share with you a sneak peek of what's happening next time on the series. And I'm also just going to do this in one take because it's really cold out, I'm not really dressed for it, my hands are already freezing, so this might not be the cleanest video ever because I'm just going to do this in this one take, but um, it's just, it's horrible. I'm actually wearing shorts right now. I don't know why I did that. It's really windy and it's really cold. So anyway, if you haven't seen the Day 24 episode, here's a link. You can check it out, you know, before we talk about it. I'll wait a moment, but not too long because my lips are starting to freeze already. Okay. And uh, before we jump into the topic, I wanted to uh, just thank the people that have made today's episode possible. If you're not familiar, the only reason that I'm able to do, you know, the higher quality, uh, you know, content of the channel and making sure I always have something every week for you guys, and certainly this Alien Invasion series, is from the generous support of people just like you who have gone to patreon.com slash praxisprepper, and for as little as just a dollar a month, are partnering with me to help keep the, this, uh, the series going, keep the channel going, because really it takes so much time that if... I wasn't able to get some kind of revenue off it, I would not be able to take the time away from my regular job to do this for you guys. And I love doing it for you guys. And thank you very much to everyone that is making that possible. The couple of people that jumped on board, where'd the piece of paper go? I had a piece of paper, I actually remember them. Uh, there are two people that jumped on board uh, you know, this week to help make all this stuff possible for you guys. And that's Shane Sanders and also Medic with a bunch of numbers and letters after. I think Medic is probably sufficient. Thank the both of you very much for partnering with me helping to keep all this stuff going. If you would like to join them, not only do they you know, help to keep this channel available for everybody, but also they give themselves free access to things like uh, behind the scenes content, uh, ways of interacting with the series, uh, opportunities for being uh, uh, appearing uh, on the channel, appearing in the Alien Invasion series, and they also lock in for themselves 100% guaranteed access to every single Alien Invasion episode. Uh, all of the uh, Alien Invasion episodes always go out to Patreon people, it, you know, no matter what level you find out, you know, whether it's a dollar or $25 or whatever it is, uh, everyone gets 100% access to everything. Uh, and as long as we keep the series at full funding, which it's always like just barely above, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating at some point, one of these months we're, gonna, months we're gonna dip down below and you know, just one is gonna go out because if we ever dip below full funding, you know, just one goes out to YouTube, but you know, Patreon people still get it. So enough about that. Thank you, thank you all so much. Uh, and everyone that's uh, you know, kind of been helping all along. I'm sorry, it's just really cold and my brain's not functioning really pro properly. But that's actually what I wanted to talk about in the, this, uh, this video is the idea of brains not functioning properly. Um, but before that, actually I should do a shout out and a thank you to Prepper Potpourri. Thank you very much for uh, you know being the guest star on this episode. And I'm not saying that Prepper Potpourri's brain isn't functioning. We're going to talk about my character and the mistakes that my character is starting to make. Prepper Potpourri is just always flawless, always wonderful. She is just a super prepper, and she's like the kind of person that, if the shit ever did hit the fan, you'd want her as your neighbor because she's super knowledgeable, super sharing with her information, just a great person. She's been an inspiration to me for a long time and I felt honored that she was, you know, interested in being involved in this. So thank you very much, Prepper Potpourri. Uh, she is also the topic of my most popular video for my entire channel. It was a video about how people get all caught up in like, kind of like this prep, uh, like apocalyptic porn entertainment. And you know, the, the kind of videos that like always get the hits are like, everyone's gonna die. This is what's gonna kill you and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, the, the clickbait kind of title. So I did a video with a clickbait title, but what it was really about is how people shouldn't click on clickbait title videos. They should be looking for actual skills. And I talk a lot about prepper potpourri in that one. And that is my most popular video on my channel because it had a clickbait <laughs> title. And it's also the most reviled video on my channel about, I, I think it was about 50%. 50% of the people that watch that video hate it because I'm kind of telling them that they're lazy and that they're only looking for entertainment. So half the comments are like, oh, right on man. You know, you know exactly what you're talking about. I agree with you completely. And the others are like, this is so boring. Why, <laughs> why would I want to listen to a, a boring video or what, you know, whatever. So. Anyway, that's a prepper potpourri video. Here's a link to it if you want to check that out. But let's talk about this episode. And I'm not going to talk so much about prepper potpourri's part because it speaks for itse itself. And she's just a shining light for all of us. And, you know, there you go. What I do want to talk about, like I was saying, is when brains stop functioning. I want to, and I want to talk about before my brain and my lips stop functioning and my thumb. I can't feel my thumb right now. Um, my character in this episode, uh, things are starting to fall apart for him. And it's kind of a situation where 
there's like, well, I, I want to say like, like there's like some small bump. I mean, his house got blown up. Uh, you know, he played a role in that. But, you know, one bad thing ha happens and then it kind of like just keeps snowballing. Uh, and in this episode, he's just starting, he's starting to get a little bit sloppy with things. You know, he, he made his like water distiller and that didn't really work out that great. And, uh, you know, so he's kind of like rushing through various things. He like wants to make some crutches, but he doesn't end up wrapping them. By the way, this is what they look like when they've been properly wrapped. He doesn't end up wrapping them, so they start splitting. And it's just that kind of thing where one thing leads to another leads to another and things kind of keep getting worse for him. By the way, we, we do talk about how to do this in the next episode. Um, but uh, it, it's just sort of a snowballing effect where like while he's trying to kind of recover from the last sort of mistake he made, he's making new mistakes because he's not focused. He's not taking the t he's not putting the time in and he's just kind of rushing through things because he's dealing with the you know, kind of the rolling damage from, from past things that he did. And certainly, now that he's kind of like rushing through, you know, whatever he's working on, that's going to lead to more problems down the road. And then those problems are going to be kind of plaguing him while he's trying to solve the next one. So what I wanted to talk about is how do you address that kind of thing? How do you, you stop that progression? If you're in a collapse situation, if you're in a SHTF situation, and, you know, you find that you get that like kind of sucker punch to the stomach, how do you recover from not that and not have like that cause the ne your next problem? And then while you're recovering from that next problem, that causes your next problem. How do you just halt that, that uh, kind of cycle of, you know, one thing, you know, just rolling problems into your future? How do you stop that, ground yourself, and then start going again? Because that's what we want to do as preppers is we want to be prepared so that, you know, when we face a crisis, we can, uh, you know, face it with our full faculties. You know, we're not, you know, worrying about starving necessarily. So we can, you know, or, or you know, whether we have water, you know, we've, we've prepared for those kinds of things. So we can focus on, you know, the real problems. So we can, uh, you know, put our energy where we, where we, well, my lips are freezing. We can put our energy where we really need it to be. So that's what I wanted to uh, ask you guys, get your opinions on that. What are some techniques that you guys have thought of? And uh, without any further talking about that, here's a clip of what's happening next time on the series. We have another special guest uh, episode next, uh, next time on the series. This is a, 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 someone that's new to the YouTube prepping community, but I like his personality. I like his... Um, uh, his content. He seems very knowledgeable to me, so I invited him on, and uh, he has a, he has a, a pretty fun episode. Uh, there's some fun bits in it, and um, yeah, here's a little little sneak peek of that. Wow, it is cold out. <laughs> I'll see you next time. When the aliens arrived, there was a massive air battle and then electromagnetic pulse, and we've been completely cut off ever since then because the aliens form sort of a ring around our town, and they vaporize anybody who tries to leave or who tries to fight them. Things were pretty much just pure chaos in the few days following that. The military was in disarray and tried to regroup at gun stores and warehouses to keep those places from being overrun. And when people realized that they couldn't... Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.